if you look back, what was what was the the the, the well the, the hardest part uh, that you had to make peace with with God? Losing my best friends. Yeah. I've lost too many of them in the last few years, man. That's been really hard. My peace with God has to do with forgiving myself about ridiculous, regretful things I did in my past as a kid, young rock and roll star. You know, I, I, I snorted Hawaii, drank the ocean and fucked every hole. You know what I mean? Wow. It's a horrible way to put it. And I don't mean to be smug or make or make light of it i mean i i had a great time i had a little bit too much fun and you know i wasn't thinking real like maybe i shouldn't be doing this you know <laughs> you know they give you the world they give you the keys to the kingdom and, and every party favors there what do i want it's like put a kid in a candy store man you know what i mean it's like beautiful women drugs booze everybody loves you go out and play in front of ten thousand people every night I and mean, it's kind of an unrealistic life and they pay you lots of money to do this and you're everywhere. And, and I'm playing on every hit record in town because I was a studio musician. I mean, it was ahead of your time. I was kind of got a little full of myself yeah. in the sense of that it was like I was I never knew when to step off the gas. It was either off or on fucking full blast, you know. So I had to learn how to grow up and mature. And, and I had to stop. I stopped drinking and being an idiot 12 years ago. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Leading up to that, I had a real rough spot where I just lost myself. I was a drunk. I mean, I was playing drunk on stage. I was playing shitty. I, I was a very embarrassing, humiliating time in my life. I was in a lot of internal pain. I was taking pills and drinking and trying to drown out the fucking my heartbreak of divorce and missing my children and all this shit and feeling sh like shit about myself. And I drowned it and I became an alcoholic. And uh, it was a really sad time in my life. And I'm ashamed of myself. And I'm sorry if I said or did anything to anybody that I don't remember. You know, I was kind of, I got like a big mouth and I'm a loud person because my father was a Marine when he was 16. So he yelled at people his whole life. So we were a loud family. So I, when I communicate with people, sometimes I start getting talking loud and i'm also you know my hearing is everything <laughs> so i mean i've had to you know pull lighten up the gas pedal a little bit you know i'm a little bit much at times for people that are normal i'm not a normal person what is the, what what happened 12 years ago when you de decided to sober up you know man you just hit a wall too much this is the last hangover i ever want to have this is the last you know i was in the fucking garage drinking vodka out of a fucking ice box at 10 in the morning to fend off the hangover and my ex-wife caught me and she says so it's come to this you're hiding in the garage drinking out of the bottle at 10 a.m huh and it was so humiliating an experience to me that it just said i said you're right and i had tears in my eyes i said I, that's it yeah. it ends now she goes right you'll stop for a month you'll be back i said not this time Right. And I never went back. Right. And how important is maybe, I went, I know. Uh, you know, I went through a lot of shit. I'm saw shrink and tried to, you know, get my life back together again. And, you know, I spent, I spent all these years apologizing for those years, you know, to people, the fans that I let down who saw me fucked up on stage and went, Oh man, the cat's fucked up. And I let people down, you know, I, it was a tough time. And I'm learning to forgive myself. That's and forget and and everybody. I've proven myself over the last 12 years, and I've said it in many an interview. I've copped this. I talk about it in my book. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, I've I've been really honest about. It. I'm not AA. I, I mean, it's a wonderful organization, but I don't. I just stop and make my own rules. You know. But although I hang out with a lot of people that are in AA, it's Ringo's in AA, and he's been a big proponent and helped so many people. So. You know, whatever gets you through the night, man, everybody's different.